Today in the news, it looks like AMD might have a repeat of the 6000 series launch, Intel continues to fix their GPUs, and more. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. Recently, the 7000 series of GPUs has been in the news quite a bit. AMD themselves released a couple of benchmarks for the pair of 7900 series. More recently, a Geekbench leak for the GPU also popped up. On that Geekbench leak, by the way, the 7900 XTX, so the higher end model, did pretty well. In the Vulcan score of the benchmark, it scored almost 180,000 points. That beats the RTX 4080 by quite a lot since it scores about 155,000 points. So here, AMD is 15% faster. There was also an OpenCL score, but this time it got beat by around 14% by the RTX 4080. Given that the Vulkan API is mostly for gaming, that's great news for gamers, seriously. It's likely to be moderately faster than a GPU that costs around 20% more. OpenCL though is more targeted towards compute stuff like simulations, 3D modelings, and some content creation apps like the ones that I use. So the 7000 series here might not be the greatest for these things. Keep in mind though, that this was run on early drivers. So who knows, a little optimization from AMD might make a pretty big difference here. So yeah, with these preliminary results, the 7900 series looks like it's a better buy for gamers compared to the RTX 4080. That's if you're gonna be able to buy it. You see, recent rumors have been hinting at a pretty limited supply of GPUs at the start. A couple of weeks ago, we heard that cards from third-party manufacturers could be delayed by one or two weeks. I know you might say that it's been debunked because Computerbase.de said that at least two manufacturers confirmed launch day GPUs, but apparently those are likely still to be reference models, just not made by AMD. So it looks like they're made by AMD but it's made by Colorful. What's more concerning is uh, recent reports from Igor's lab. According to his sources in Hong Kong and Taiwan, they are still having vBIOS and driver issues. Driver issues, not a huge deal. vBIOS on the other hand, well, that needs to be figured out before the cards actually ship. Apparently, it has to do with memory leaks that make the uh, GPU freeze up. Something else that Igor pointed out is that the initial supply looks pretty slim. Apparently, for Europe, Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, we're looking at about 10,000 cards. That's for all of those areas combined. And apparently Germany is for some reason receiving a good 3,000 out of these cards. Also, while Computerbase said that two manufacturers would launch custom cards, Igor says that another non-exclusive AIB, so that means that they make both AMD and Nvidia card, but that specific source told him that they wouldn't have custom cards until January, so next year. All in all, it looks like the supply will at least be a lot smaller than the RTX 4000 series, but it doesn't mean that you won't be able to get one. Maybe just that you'll have to pull the trigger faster than you could with the RTX 4080. I mean, look at this thing. There are still multiple versions available in Canada of all places. Moving on, but sticking to some GPU news, Intel's blue cheese technology is at it again. The company recently released another driver update that significantly boosts performance, this time on DX9 games. The company showed six games at two resolutions and the performance upgrade is anywhere from three to 79% faster. That 79% is in CSGO. Now sure, it's a big variation, but this doesn't just uplift these six games. These optimizations should affect every DX9 game. So yeah, good on you, Intel. Don't give up. Next up, let's do our free game check. Starting Friday the 8th or tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this, you can get Saints Row 4 re-elected. It's a 2013 game, so mind the graphics, but it's definitely a fun one to play through. It's a wild ride all the way to the end of the game, and there's a lot of profanity, so I don't know, maybe play it while the kids are sleeping or something. This re-elected version has 25 DLC packs included. So yeah, lots of content. You can also get wild 
Wildcat Gun Machine. It's a bullet hell dungeon crawler with some pretty sick art style in my opinion. I'm definitely gonna give this one a try this weekend. And if you have a Prime membership, you can also go to gaming.amazon.com and get a couple of games there. The uh, asymmetrical gameplay of Brothers A Tale of Two Sons might be interesting to you. Keep in mind you'll need a controller for that one though. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for today's catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment. If you want to talk about today's stories, as usual, it's right here. To see the latest video, right here. To subscribe to the channel, stay frosty, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.